I mean, you got eye boogers. You gotta look good for everyone. Come on, get yourself together, woman. What's up, guys? Jake here. We're on the boat. We've got Treasure, the dog. We've got Kendall here. We're at a special spot. I don't know if I can tell everyone about this yet. I'm gonna keep it a secret for now. But we are gonna be Native American artifact hunting. We've got special permission. And I am so excited to get out here and start searching. So if you're looking for artifacts here in Florida, specifically Native American stuff, you can get in some big trouble if you don't do it correctly. I think it's a felony if you go find an arrowhead in a river and you pull it out. So here we are on private land with all our gear in hopes of finding some Native American artifacts. So what we're really doing here is just digging holes and we're hoping to find you know just any kind of remnants of the Native Americans here. We're looking for those big arrowheads, the spear points, you know, cool stuff like that. Some of these can be super valuable and very, very rare. Kendall and I, we're just coming out to have a good time and collect stuff. We're not selling anything, but to give you an idea, there has been an arrowhead around this area found and one of my buddies sold it for over $40,000. But again, we're not selling anything. We're on private land with full permission. We're gonna have a good time and hopefully we find something amazing that I can share with you guys. Kendall, what do you think we're gonna find today? You think we're gonna get lucky with the two hopefully. hours that we got to search? Hopefully some arrowheads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last time we came out here, there were gnats everywhere, mosquitoes everywhere, ticks everywhere, and it was just a mess with treasure. So what I'm gonna do here is actually open up this tent put treasure in here. Come on, Trish. She'll be hanging in here for a couple hours while Kendall and I go search for some artifacts. There's fans on here. It's actually not too hot today. I'm gonna turn on the fans. I'm gonna show you all what it looks like in here. I'm gonna, so she's drinking some water right here. Got the fans and there's also, check this out, a fan up here. So she has a lot of airflow. Yeah, 360 degrees of air. She's got bug nets, a lot of airflow, and I think she's gonna be fine. So I'm gonna zip her up here. She is very spoiled rotten, but no bugs will get her today. All right, so now it's time to grab this shovel and all my gear and hopefully find some great stuff. Look at Judge right there. I would bring her out there, but I promise you guys there's ticks everywhere. Last time we came out, she had over 40 on her, which I think is life-threatening, and I don't want to put her through that again. So this evening, she's going to hang out in the tent while we go dig for a little bit. And I promise you all there's a bunch of wind. It's not too hot today, and she has water. So she's relaxing. Do I need a big bag or a little bag? I mean, do I do we plan on pull, do we plan on pulling out this much of arrowheads or this much or or this much? Like, what what should I go big? I'm gonna go big. We might need the extra space. So, all right, so we got some water. Got the spray bottle. That's why I chose the big bag. All right, so where do we go? <laughs> so usually we hang out with our professional paleontologist friends and they know everything about this but Kendall and I we're pretty new to everything so we're just gonna walk in the woods they tell us high ground so we got to find high ground the highest ground on the property look at treasure oh my goodness yeah her face is smushed against that screen yeah there's probably gonna be snakes out here oh okay so Let's go over here so we don't make a big mess by the gate. Dang, it's a big tree that fell. Ah. Treasure's looking at us right now like, what are y'all doing? You're leaving me behind. There's a reason, Treasure. Kendall, you ever see the videos where they hold stuff and whatever they're holding kind of like spins weird? Where's the arrowheads at? You think right here is a good spot? All right, here we are. The first spot. Let's see if there's any arrowheads here. So what we're gonna do is scrape back all the leaves and then we'll start digging. You gotta get about waist deep. Is it really pretty? Yeah. Dang. Super pretty. Dead tree right there is really the vibe. Where? Hold this. What dead this one? Here, watch out. No, no. I don't want this to fall. <laughs> Just to let you guys know that tree was dead and it could have fell on Kindle. So I saved you potentially save your life. So we don't want to go too far away from the truck, but we want to go far enough so it doesn't look like it's a big mess, you know, of course. I don't want a big eyesore for everyone. So what I'm going to do is clear out this spot of leaves. We'll push them over to the side. We'll do our first test dig here. And hopefully where I'm standing, there's a bunch of arrowheads or spear points. We'll know in about 45 minutes, but you guys will know pretty much instantly. So don't you just wish you had x-ray vision to see through the ground? So I'm going to make this one a little bigger. Sometimes it's easier to dig. All 
I'm doing this also so when I'm done, I'll cover up the hole and then put the leaves back on so it looks like we weren't here. Because we don't want everyone to know we hit the jackpot, you know? We want to come back. <laughs> now it's time to start digging. It's actually not too bad for weather today. It's not that hot. It's actually perfect for digging. I mean, it could be a little colder, that's for sure. So on top of the surface, there's a bunch of vines everywhere, but beneath it, I'm hoping, is just smooth sand. And it looks it. You know, it'd be pretty funny if back in the day, Native Americans knew, like modern people here, would go search for their arrowheads, so they just planted them around like adult Easter egg hunts. I don't think that was the case, but. I'm out of breath. <laughs> All right, we got a hole dug. It's about three foot deep. The sand needs to get a little darker, so I gotta go deeper. Digging holes suck, man, but I'll tell you what, this is my favorite type of arrowhead hunting, so hopefully we get lucky. All right, we're getting there. Take a look at the hole. It's almost big enough to put a body down there. If you look on the side, there's a little bit of orange down there. We have to go a little bit deeper, but if you hit the orange, that's usually my rule of thumb that we're just deep enough. I made this top a little wider so we can kind of scrape the sides so I can get inside this hole, but it's a little awkward right now, but it's the beginning of the process. We're all the way at the top of the road. In the background over there, you have treasure, of course, hanging out in the tent still. It's been about, what, 45 minutes? This is what we got so far to show. Trying our best to find something cool to share with you guys in the video today. Hopefully we pull it off. Could be a one and done hole for us today. Maybe we can pull off the impossible and find exactly what we're looking for right here. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you guys. Kittle, we just had our first hit. I don't know what it is. Oh my goodness, I'm nervous. Holy crap. So before I look, let me show you like what it sounds like, what I'm searching for, if that makes any sense. So when the shovel hits this right here and it sounds like this, he found a piece of something. Here it is, listen. You hear that? It's like glass. So that is a piece of chert, and that is a piece of a Native American artifact. Now, that could be a chip to a spear point, an arrowhead, we're not too sure. A tool, literally it could be anything. That's a shovel stopper. Literally the shovel stopped on it, which is pretty cool. So hopefully I didn't damage it. Oh my goodness, if this is, could you imagine, Kendall, like literally, first hole, first find, if it was an arrowhead or a spear point, I would lose my mind. Right in front of my toe, you can't quite tell but right in front of my right toe, right there. You see that little white speck? That's what I hit with my shovel. So we're gonna see what that is. I'm gonna go down there and grab it. I don't know if I can bring the camera down there. I'm gonna have Kendall kinda hold it over me. All right, so. Oh, sorry. We're going down. I don't know if I can get down there. I might have to go head first. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go head first. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. 
I would lose my mind if we just did it first time. Okay, so. No! <laughs> it's a rock, bug. No. Dang. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. No, that's a piece of chert. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. Uh, it's not a rock. At least at least it's not a rock, yeah. So this right here is a piece of chert. Let me get the spray bottle. Let me show you all what this looks like. I gotta really confirm this is a rock or not. I'm pretty sure it's not a rock, but... As we take a closer look, this is indeed a piece of chert. This could have been broken off to make an arrowhead, a spear point, a knife, literally anything. But that is a piece. That's a great sign. I didn't get super lucky yet, y'all. But that's still really, really cool. Because I got sand everywhere. And sand's in my ear. First find on the property. Here, make sure you hold that and keep that one safe. That's cool. All right, well, it wasn't quite what I hoped for. I was hoping for like a 40 inch spear point that killed a woolly mammoth or something. But I mean, or maybe something used in a battle, you know, back in the day. But I mean, I'll take it. What that means also is that we're at the level where we need to be. So where I found that is literally at the bottom of this hole. I'm gonna have to dig a little bit deeper and that's where all those artifacts would be. All these artifacts are actually very deep, but over time you can just tell like all these leads would fall. And then over time, you know, all this stuff like just imagine if it's like present time, you know, I drop a wrench or something right here, all these leaves would fall. And over time, that wrench would be buried by just tons and tons of layers of sand and just sediment. That's why those arrowheads are way down there. All these artifacts are thousands of years old. That's why they're down there at the bottom of the hole. And I'm hoping to get lucky and find a smoker. So let's keep searching. Hello? What just came off of my lens? <laughs> I think uh, glue or something came off. I guess I don't need that. Can y'all still see me? It's the front of my lens. Yeah, I think the adhesive came off. That Chattahoochee heat, boy. Um, you got a pocket? You got a pocket I can put this in? <laughs> it it no, looks, it looks kind of valuable. We just put it in my bag. <laughs> Thank you. Moral of the story, my stuff's falling apart. I'm pretty sure that Georgia heat's just killing Moral my camera. Story, I'm pretty sure that everything from here on and before <laughs> had a black smudge on the bottom left hand <laughs> corner. And it's all Jake's fault. It's not my fault. If you're enjoying this video make sure to subscribe and also leave a like on this one we love native american artifact hunting we don't get to do it all that often but i hope you guys enjoy it you're either going to watch this guy here on youtube dig a hole for 10 15 minutes or actually find something cool so um <laughs> there's no guarantee with this y'all you could literally watch me for 10 to 15 minutes just digging a hole so we'll see if we find something though if anyone has an excavator i can borrow <laughs> please reach out to me the spot's near Gainesville, Florida. It's actually in High Springs, Florida. If you if you got one, come rescue me. Let's make a video together. I'll pay for the gas, and you can come and dig with me. I got something else. It's either a rock or a piece of chert. Ah, got it. What is it? Hat is a rock that's definitely a rock our first rock of the day <laughs> all right we're gonna put that right there y'all hear that it's either a rock or it's exactly what we're searching for well got it i got it Well, it's a bigger rock than the last one. <laughs> Dang, another rock, y'all. My favorite part about digging for arrowheads is like the shaving. My least favorite, of course, is the digging the material out of the hole. So I've got a lot of sand in the hole. We have to take it out, put it on the mound right here. Take a look. Meteorite came and blasted right here in Florida. This is actually what killed off all the dinosaurs. 
It's pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> so we got the hole cleared up. Kendall's gonna hop inside, start shaving the walls, and I hope she gets really lucky. I'm gonna take a break, and then when she's done, I'll hop back in there. So come on, KJ, grab the shovel. Kendall's inside the hole. <laughs> you look ridiculous. All right, wait, stay right there. I'm gonna do something quick. Pop up real quick, show everyone where you're at. <laughs> Damn, that stick hit me right in the face. <laughs> Anyone home? Huh? Hello? I think we have a dog up there. Hey, girl. How you doing? All right, I'm gonna hop up there. While Kendall's over there digging the woods, I'm gonna hang out with Treasure for a second. Hey, how you doing? Hey, baby. Hey. Go back in there. You gotta let the bugs in here. Go. Back up. Go back in there. Get back in there. Get back in there. <laughs> Come on. Go inside. Oh, shoot. Almost fell off this ladder. Go. Treasure, go back in there. All right. Let's take a look of what it's like a day in a life with Treasure the dog. Okay. We're inside the tent. Hold it, Treasure. Let me zip this back up. We don't want no bugs in here. I shouldn't have came in here with my boots, but it's okay. In front of us is where we came up at on the ladder. We've got a net right here to keep the bugs out. Also have a net here to keep the bugs out. And also there's a net up top to keep the bugs out. We've got three fans, one right there, one up top, and one right there. There's the boat over there. It's actually pretty cool. And there's the top of the truck. It feels amazing in here. Hey girl, come here, come here, lay down. Lay down, mama. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back, okay? You gotta stay here, though. All right, let's try to get out of here. It doesn't even look like there's a screen right here, but there is. <laughs> All right, back up, back up, back up. I gotta go out there. Yeah. Stay. Watch your toes. Come on, get out of here. So I hung out with Treasure for a second. I don't know if you can see her, but her ears are squashed. <laughs> she looks funny. Now it's time to go see if Kendall found anything. I was hanging out with Treasure for about five minutes, and I'm going to come back and start digging. Or was it 55 minutes? It was either or. I don't know. But there's a bunch of sand in this hole now. You didn't see anything down there, huh? Dang. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is clear this out, and then we'll shave the walls one final time. And then if we don't find anything here, I think we have time to dig one more hole. So it could be fun. Maybe the next hole is the spot, or maybe we could do it right here. So let me give me, so give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, and then I'm going to clear this out, and maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we don't have to dig another hole. Maybe this could be it. <laughs> you guys, I didn't do it. I didn't find it today. We tried our very best. We did one hole. Took us, what, three and a half hours? Gosh, my back is hurting. Promise you, we're coming back. We're gonna find something. This isn't the end of this. Got my shovel here, and I've came prepared with a back brace. Never worn one, but I'll tell you, I've done this before, and my back on the first hole just gets worked. So, that sounds a little weird. I'm my back just get worn. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to say that doesn't sound a little weird? Uh, excuse my back. I'm just telling you, you just need, this is a game changer. That's all I'm trying to say. Got our first spot. We're going to be jumping around and hopefully we get something amazing, y'all. Here we go. All right. Hey, can we bring in the people to help out? Joe, oh, don't show this. Don't show this. <laughs> it would be hilarious if I actually had like a team of 20 people helping me and it just made it look like I was digging and doing all this hard work. Nah, I'm doing this, man. I'm in it. What you think, Treasure? Is this a good spot, girl? So Jake's been saying for the past like two hours that he's hurting for food and he's hungry. I was editing photos right here on my laptop and I just happened to look up and when I did, that is what I saw. An orange tree. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it's got three oranges. There's three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the little seeds. Mm -hmm. It's tart. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I need a sign. 
I just need one sign to get my energy levels up. Literally spent over two hours digging this hole. Nothing. Nada. Oh, Ooh, there it is. Hear that? Heard that. Oh. That's what that's the sound yeah, we're looking for. You can like. you really hear that. It's lighting up the shovel, Ooh. which oh, means man. it's probably pretty big. Dang. Oh. 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 <laughs> Look at that. Dang. Oh. So the base is snapped off a little. They would have had a, a base right there, but man. Probably used though. You know that might that might have gotten someone's dinner. Yeah, Dang. this could have been definitely snapped off in use, but man, it's wow. so perfect. Oh man, thank you. <laughs> Look at that. that definitely put in the comments below if you know what kind of arrowhead this is. If you can identify it, it's probably missing the little base right here. But overall, that's the shape of it. And be really interested, Jake, to yeah. learn what ears. kind of arrowhead that is. I will use the power of the arrowhead tattoo to find an arrowhead. Wait, oh wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Shh, 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 don't, don't yell. No. Oh my god. Oh my Something gosh. came out. Oh, oh it's a broken no. point. Oh my god. Wait, is it reworked? Oh no, it's just broken. Dang. That would have been beautiful. Oh my god. Hey, you still pulled it out though. I free, did. Free, that's your first. See if the other piece is in there. Are it's you not kidding dang. me. It's not oh, there. Did you imagine? <laughs> um, we made a good choice setting a hole right here. Right. Wow. <clears throat> oh, somebody help! Oh my God, he's got me. Yeah, well, I've been, been shot with an arrow. <laughs> Dude yeah. in the eye. The eye. The eye. Yeah. Oh. Ah, <laughs> yeah, look, up, look up. <laughs> he got me. <laughs> no. I give up. Hey, you remember when I told you I picked a spot and we'll know in 40 minutes whether it was a good spot or not? That was like five hours ago. It wasn't a good spot. <laughs> I told the lady who owns this property that she would never recognize that a hole was actually made. So there's got, so I've got some work cut out. I've got to put all the sand back in this hole. Joe, I said it earlier. You should have just buried me in the hole when it was smaller, but you can, you can go ahead and do it if you want to. <clears throat> Take the shovel. See if they have the power. Yeah, keep it going. Come on. <laughs> Bury me. Come on. Keep it going. Here, use the shovel. <laughs> Come on. Go faster, Joe. You got stuff to do today, man.